hello and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own custom mouse cursor and i'm going to be using a 2d graphics software that's photoshop it's going to give us a little bit of issue so that's a quick heads up but then i'll tell you how you can rectify this problem as we go through the video so let's find photoshop if you don't have that download it and open it up or inside photoshop i'll click on my file and click on new all right so it greets me with this dialog box and i'm going to select the custom one for this not the default size create a custom one if you don't have this so this will be 32 by 32 pixels and then go ahead and click on the create so this is how little it is we wouldn't be needing any big um, let's say canvas because the smaller it is um, the more preferable it's going to be and we're trying to optimize the game as much as we can so we don't want to carry a 5 mb file or something big just to make it a, a mouse cursor so hopefully you understand what i'm saying now let's unlock this background hold down our control key and right left click on this layer so it gives us a new layer let's hide this and let's hit alt and scroll our mouse wheel up to zoom into this so if you don't have your pencil tool selected go ahead and select that shortcut key for it is p as you can see so or hit p on your keyboard and get this pen tool so with this we're going to draw a mouse no i'm not you going i don't have a fixed dimension for this so this is just something uh somewhat freehand but you should probably get um maybe a guide or something like that anyway let's continue so i'm going to click on an edge start from somewhere here and then mix something like a triangle um somewhere there okay so I'll do that mm -hmm. i think that should do no so it's somewhere here and down Definitely not the prettiest mouse um, cursor, but this will have to do. Try as much as you can to get the best shape you want. It doesn't have to be the exact same shape uh, like this cursor. It can be like maybe a fork or a hand or anything you want to design. Just make sure you design it. And I'm going to hit G. Um, no, first of all, I will get an edge on this pen tool. So I'll go back to my pen tool and I'll right click this and select fill path I'm going to select the color I want for this which is going to be a dark color so this will be okay click on okay and this should do so I can go ahead and clear my path now let's see we delete path and then I'll hit V to go back to my normal cursor hit ctrl T and then shift alt to scale this to a uh, somewhat okay size it should do so i'm going to hit w to bring down my lasso tool i'm going to kind of highlight this and press b to bring down my brush tool select uh, a dark color if it's not selected so make sure it's dark I'm going to follow this with the selection around it so i'm going to paint around this just to kind of fill in these boxes that are looking faded so this is it go ahead and do this fill in the space so this should be okay now hit um escape or control d this should do so let's center this this should be my mouse cursor from distance you can see it looks all right but when zoomed in it has all these pixel p 
pixely um pixel looking substances around it or um colors so with this done we can go ahead and export this so my normal means of exporting i'm going to hit file going to save us and for my project i'm going to call this my cursor search for the unity project which um you want to export this in so mine is the tooth and then i'm going to um, save this as cursor inside my assets folder so let's save this click ok and head back into unity now it's been brought in you can see it here it's a very simple looking cursor so let's left click on this to bring out a couple of options on our inspector so pay attention to this normally if you want to work with sprites you change this to 2d ui sprite um, normal map same thing so this we're going to use the cursor so left click on this and you can see that the options available for editing it are somewhat um, smaller or they are a bit less than let's say the sprite so this should do if you want to go ahead and touch this advanced settings you can try that but then i'm going to go ahead with default settings this particular one should be put to input texture and with this done let's um, fold this leave this wrap mode on clamp filter mode by linear and that should be also click on apply so with this applied we can see to the image of our texture now to make this appear um, this way in our game let's go into file select build settings and then go into player settings and we can see that there is a spot available for our default cursor so this is where you should be attaching this 2d texture so select this and locate the image which you just changed to, into a cursor so i need my cursor that should be somewhere close so this is it let's select this now close this also close this so with this selected when I go into my game tab you can see that my cursor has changed and just to be sure that this is working we can go ahead and create a script um, to test this so let's right click in a hierarchy create a 3d object let's say a cube and then we reset this so we right click in our project panel create a C sharp script let's call this test cursor so let's open this up in Visual Studio and do some coding so inside Visual Studio we can clear our start And then go into our update and create a ray. So let's start with ray cast. Hit. Let's call this hit. Down below, we're going to um, create a ray. This will be ray, which would be our camera. Dot name. Dot screen. Screen point ray and this would be our input dot mouse position and then we can check to see if input dot get mouse button at zero our left click um 
so we can check to see if if also physics dot recast then we want to get our ray and output our heat point now we check to see if hit dot transform dot name if this is equal to q then we debug dot log or hit dot transform dot name so very simple code now let's save this and test it in unity so without downloading let's right click on our hierarchy create an empty object call this cursor set this and drag our cursor script onto this let's play our game let's click on our cube so in our console let's clear this we can see debug the debug cube that is um, a symbol that it's working but then um, if you look closer at the cursor you can see that there are a bit of um, edges or um, let's say um, added uh, lines which we're not we don't want so if you don't like this pixely look then you shouldn't be using photoshop to create your cursor you should probably use illustrator that uses vectors um, to um, paint out its uh, its graphic objects so you should definitely look that look that up um, if you don't have the money to pay for any of these then find the free software which uses vectors rather than pixels if not you're going to be getting these rough edges so with that being said we've come to the end of our video today if you enjoyed it like comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video